Hey bougie, click. Are you settling in your life or relationships? Are you allowing people in your life that are taking more than they are giving? Although we all need companionship, that does not mean we should befriend or date just anyone. Bougie chicks, do not settle. Do not settle. You are either for me or against me. You never really know people. Most people are fake and self-serving. People will often pretend to support or like you as long as it benefits them. Even more sinister are the people who are just hiding who they are. It is easy for us to see the evil in a movie villain, we acknowledge that it is self-serving even when they do good. We do not erase all the bad they have done from our minds just because they do one seemingly good thing. The real world is eviler than a made-up world, and real people are far eviler than movie villains, they are just better at hiding it. We have to pay attention to slick comments and hateful looks because they could be a glimpse into the heart of an evil, jealous person. Some people are out to hurt you in any way they can, and they disguise it with tough love or brutal honesty, in reality, it's just hate. It is often hurtful to accept that the people closest to you are the main ones who want to see you fail. It is hard to believe that the people you love with every ounce of your being do not want to see you happy. We do not want to label people as toxic but sometimes they are just that. Love means wanting to see someone do well. Toxic is manipulating someone into doing what you want him or her to do. Toxic is enabling their bad habits when it suits you. Toxic is being brutally honest to hurt someone instead of using it to offer constructive criticism. Toxic is finding everything wrong when someone is happy but offering no solutions. Toxic is being happy when people are miserable and being miserable when people are happy. We see the signs. We feel the energy shift when we have good news. We notice a person supporting any and everything that is against us. We understand what it is when people befriend your enemies or rivals. You are not stupid, and either is that feeling in your gut that tells you these people are not for me. The same people that will push you into the abyss are sometimes the same people that will save you because they like attention. Some people have a savior complex and when you come into the knowledge of their games, they will flip things around on you. They need you to believe that they are your only way out. The person that hurt you cannot be the person to save you. People can only hide their true colors for so long, eventually, they start to crack. Trust yourself when getting a bad feeling about people, that is your spirit trying to warn you. It is incredible the things people will try to get away with right in front of your eyes when they think you cannot see them. People think they are hidden behind the masks they wear. They may be hidden from your eyes, but your spirit can always discern who is for you and who is against you. Abusers often try to justify their actions. There are many reasons to do the wrong thing, but there are also just as many reasons to do the right thing. Who are you under pressure? Bad circumstances and bad people create superheroes, but they also create villains. They did not have to do you like that they wanted to do you like that. It is time that we stop making excusing for bad behavior. The punishment must fit the crime. Therefore, if you find that someone is unjustly punishing you, it might be signs of a bigger problem. It may point to evil intent and not just justice. For instance, if you and a friend get in friendly argument and they go straight for jugular with heinous insults, some may even say hurtful things behind the guise of a joke. Things like this do not happen by accident. Malice is no mistake. Malice is the intention or desire to do evil, ill will. Love is understanding. It is easy to make excuses for yourself when you are in the wrong. However, when someone does wrong to you, we show him or her no mercy. It does not matter to us if someone's actions were a direct result of something we did to them, all that matters is our pain. We do not acknowledge the pain we caused others, we want them to just get over it. No one is perfect. If you think that there is no room for improvement in your life, you are wrong. Like attracts like, and you attract people who are like you. If you want better, you have to do better and be better. We have to search not only for the heart of others, but our own hearts as well. Looks fade, and money loses value, but a good person will always have worth. How many times have you had sex out of wedlock and prayed to not be pregnant or have an STD? 
How many times have you promised to never make the same mistake again after God has delivered you but turn around and do it again? See, we look down on the ones who get DUIs, the ones who end up pregnant, or the ones who end up with STDs but forget how God has brought us through. We judge others and refuse to help them when God did not judge us. We talk about the addict and praise the recreational user. We call people stupid as if we graduated from Harvard. We judge other people's relationships, then go home to be abused and cheated on ourselves. We call others hoes and sluts like we are virgins. Some of you are not hoes because you are fools. Some of you are not fools because you are hoes. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Therefore, we have no room to judge anyone. How dare you not show someone the same mercy that was shown to you? We all need help. John 8 verse 7 says, Let him without sin, cast the first stone. You can do what you want and be whom you want, but people do not have to accept that. True love is sacrifice, you have to sacrifice the old you. The Bible says you cannot put new wine into old bottles. We expect the world from people we would not give water to. You get what you give, and most of us are selfish by nature. Our love has conditions, but God's love does not. So likewise, our help has conditions, but God's help does not. How many times have you been sloppy drunk and prayed for God to get you through? We even promise to never drink again, but even though God knows your heart, He helps you. Instead of leaning on our own understanding and judging others, we should be down on our knees, thanking God for not judging us and showing us mercy. Judge not, that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. What do you think? Are you settling in your life? Let me know in the comment section. Stay bougie.